Yo, yo, yo. What's up, everybody? So somebody asked me today about scaling their new app. Well, they haven't built the app yet, but they're thinking about scaling. So this was a call from my mentoring group. Links below. So he's saying, hey, Steph, I got, a, I got an idea for an app. So I'm trying to figure out which technology should I use to scale? Should I use Node? Should I use PHP with Laravel? First thing, when you are working on your first SaaS software, software as a service, the last thing you should be concerned about is scaling. So being concerned about scaling your SaaS software before you've even released the version one is like being concerned about where you're going to get married before you've gone on your first date. So if you do go on your first date and you uh, creep the lady out or the guy out by talking about where you're going to get married, it's going to be problematic. So if you're building an app and you haven't even launched it yet and you're worried about scale, it's going to, you're wasting your time. I'll give you an example. So I knew this company, a startup, and they were convinced that their startup was going to be the next great thing. They thought for sure they were going to unseat Facebook. And so they were engineering and building out for massive scale. They consulted with me and I told them, don't even do that. Make your app small, nimble, light. This is a version one. Get it into the market. See what people will think about your app. And if it starts to build up, then you can start thinking about scaling. You know, these days, scaling is not much of an issue because servers are so powerful. And you got very powerful server models today uh, where you can scale vertically and horizontally pretty quickly. So don't waste your time on worrying about scale. Generally speaking, for most apps, most web apps, when it comes to scale, the number one thing to consider is the database. Having proper database structure, proper database design, and making sure that it's normalized properly, you got the proper index in, indexes in place. That is typically the bottleneck of any app, not the web framework that you happen to use, right? So whether you use Laravel or Express or Django or Flask or Boot, typically the bottleneck is going to be in your database, not the app server. So I wouldn't be too concerned, not the app framework rather. So I wouldn't be too concerned about that as well. So there you go, short little video. If you're building a SaaS, don't worry about scaling. Again, if you run into that problem after your app has launched, uh, you will have the resources, you will have the money at that point to be able to scale it. If you start thinking about scaling before you even launch the app, you'll be like that aforementioned company. Oh yeah, I didn't finish the story. So they designed and engineered for scaling and uh, they had all these servers set up. They put a huge amount of effort into scaling. So when they finally launched the product, they ended up, I think, with like, and I'm not exaggerating, maybe two or three users. So what a waste of time that was. Another thing to consider is that back in the day, back in the 90s, when server resources were quite limited, hosting was very expensive, uh, RAM, all these you know, CPUs, everything was super weak. So even back in the day, in the 90s, I had my own dedicated server in my own place. I, I was managing my own server. Uh, this is before I went co-location, before VPS it was about. And I was running some pretty highly trafficked websites on a server, one box. At the time, the hardware was pretty powerful for the time. But by today's standards, I think my iPhone 12, my three-year-old iPhone is probably five times as powerful, if not 10 times more powerful than that server. So back in those days, even that old wimpy ass server that I had back in the 90s, I was able to handle pretty good traffic. So today with advanced server architectures, it's to be concerned about scaling. It's just, it's not an issue. Don't get into it. All right. I hope this video was useful for you. My name is Uncle Steph. Some people call me Steph. Some people call me Uncle Steph. Check out the links below. I mentor people in the ways of code, business, SaaS development, and much more. Everything I teach is born out of personal experience. I am not an academic. I'm a pragmatic person. I got that from my business days and my fighting days. If the techniques 
didn't work in a real fight. They weren't real techniques as far as I was concerned. Same thing with business, same thing with production of software. Everything I've done, I've learned uh, in the real world and uh, debunking a lot of the academic myths about SaaS development, software development. Don't get caught up in that. Anyway, if you have any questions, have any comments, any disagreements about what I covered in this video, comment below. I'm always looking forward to that. All right, thanks for watching. Bye. Thank you.